What is going on guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome! I know this is not my usual look and that's because we're gonna be talking about lighting and how I turn my room from this into something like this. Now, I save ko na time nyo and tell you that this video is about lighting. Bad lighting like this is very much forgivable when your audio is good. So it's always audio before lighting. But, you know, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be talking about lighting. So kung wala kang sa lighting, feel free to click away. But in case you're wondering, what I'm using for my audio is a Boya BYMM1 camera microphone. It's sat right here below the, <laughs> below the camera. And then I add some compression sa uh, post-processing. So, bakit ko to gusto pag-usapan? Lighting makes it easier for our audience to watch our vlogs. To me, it's more engaging when the subject is in a well-lit environment. So today, I will show you how I personally do my kind of indoor lighting as well as a few tips and tricks that might help you better your vlogs. Although, of course, everything is all personal preference. You can dictate what you need for you and what you want. This is just how I set up mine and uh, maybe you can grab a thing or two. Over the start of quarantine, I've seen a number of my friends gathered enough courage to talk in front of a camera while sitting down in their rooms, aka vlogging. Myself included, I'm excited to go para to vlog usually when I'm traveling. You know, out and about, run and gun, kahit mo ang wala akong pake. But being stuck inside, and dami nating naiisip na gusto nating gawin. May it be unboxing videos, reaction videos, tutorials, song covers, story time, and so on. Now, I've gathered a lot of tips from people I follow like Peter McKinnon, of course, Daniel Schiffer, Potato Jet, Parker Walbeck, and I simplified those tips and utilized the equipment I have today. I guess you can say this video is a cheap fix. Also, I've watched other YouTubers who do sit-down vlogs like Philip DeFranco, Super Carlin Brothers, and so on. Mga ibang interviews din. So, I'll give you a couple of tips muna and then I'll show you how I transform my room. Quick tip number one. Any camera will do. Your phone camera is good, your DSLR is good, your point and shoot camera is good, your mirrorless camera is good. Use the best camera at your disposal. Ika nga ni Casey Neistat. Quick tip number two. If you're blessed with a window that gives off natural light, unlike me, napakadilim dito sa kwarto ko, you may opt for that. Natural light is the best light as long as wala siya sa likod ng subject, kundi magbumuha kang silhouette. Actually, pwede mong gawin. You can set up your camera sa window and that gives off the best lighting. Later, may papakita akong example. Quick tip number three. Diffuse your light. More about diffusion later on. Basically, ayaw mo ng harsh na light sa you don't want the light reflecting off of your face kasi magbumuha kang oily. You would want a flattering soft light on your skin. So those are my uh, three quick tips and now I'll show you how I set up my room. Camera. So I usually don't shoot with this color profile. Uh, right now my camera is in the tungsten light. When I shoot my vlogs, naka auto white balance lang ako. It's pretty much easier that way. So let's switch it right now. And so immediately nakita niyo na yung change from a very blue lighting into a more natural looking color sa skin ko and uh, I'm also shooting in a flat color profile or in my camera it's called the Cine style and I'll show you later why. But first uh, here are some of my lighting equipment. So nakita niyo na to before na pag-usapan ko na to. Uh, these are two LED lights which I set up one here and then one sa likod ko. So for my key light which I place around 45 degrees from my eye line. I use one of the LED lights and then I make a I have a makeshift diffuser. I got this sheet from isa sa mga packages na din deliver dito. And then uh, I tape it over my light and then I make an arch. I'll show you in a bit why why I do this kind of lighting. And then I'll place it right here. So these lights are actually battery powered pero na, na discover ko na pwede pala siya e micro USB. And then when I'm outside or when I'm not near an outlet, naka power bank ako pag nagsushoot ako. But good thing meron akong power source kung saan ko nilalagay itong mga to. So I just uh, stick in a USB there and then I plug sa outlet. This is set up ko muna to before I show you guys. Hold on. And boom. There you go. Diba? Oh yeah, and uh, my room light, I usually turn it off. I'll show you. There you go. 
So in off ko yung room light ko kasi I don't want any shadows on my face na very unflattering lalo na yung galing sa hair or galing sa eyes that makes you know very bad shadows on my face. So currently this is what I see. So my camera is over there, microphone's here, my laptop here. My key light is right there. So as you can see, hindi ko dina direct sa akin yung ilaw. Ayan nakita nyo kaya ako ginawa yung arch nyan for that to make the diffusion and that makes the light softer. Kasi kung naka direct sa akin yung ilaw, the light like what I said earlier, you will look oily. I'll show you. You see? So uh, this is the light na naka direct sa akin yung ilaw and then when I put the diffuser like so, something like that, the light is much more flattering sa face. So that's powered by a USB. Ran down sa likod ng laptop ko and dyan siya nakakabit. Ayos ba? <laughs> and then I dim my laptop light para wala na rin akong unwanted shine coming from the chin up. Now for my background light, since I don't have an RGB light, I only have this and this only has the daylight and the very yellow light. What I do, again, with the makeshift diffuser, what I do is uh, wrap it around like this, very much like the other one. So, ganyan. <laughs> and then I have this uh, blue Ziploc na nilalagay ko dito as a, as a gel to my light. Yan, There, it looks something like that. It looks really dirty. It's like basura, honestly. And then I have a micro USB here which runs to that outlet right there and I put this in here and boom blue light <laughs> so if you see my previous videos it lang yung gumagawa ng blue light sa likod ko I'll show you ayan ganyan lang siya tinatakpan ko lang now the purpose of this is to have your own style in your background have your identity minsan kapag nakikita niyan uy Ganyan yung background ni ganito, ganito yung background ni ganyan. Which um, is really a fun thing to set up. So you can play around with your background light and put other accessories there. Pwede ka magligay ng lamp that goes against your wall. You can put a neon sign, whatever. Whatever you please is uh, is fine as long as it's not too bright or too distracting sa subject mo. We're pretty much done, <laughs> diba? So this is pretty much my setup when I vlog in my room. Is this enough? Yes. May gusto ba akong idagdag? Yes. Necessary ba sila? Not entirely. Um, if I have enough money, I'll buy more lights like this, which you know will only do a little bit of help. Pero to me, it's uh, it's something that I can invest in. Another thing that I want to add here is a fill light, which is opposite to my key light right here. Most filmmakers do something like this and kunikita niya nagre reflect yung key light ko into my face para hindi sobrang dark but to me you know having this rembrandt triangle is uh, enough for my videos another thing that i like to do is i wear a cap like this to separate me from my background because if you can see here um there's this black wood here and no wala yung separation ng head ko from the background that's why i wear a cap like this. Another thing that will help me separate myself from the background is a hair light. Mangagaling siya usually sa taas, and that will make uh, an outline sa buhok ko to separate me from the background. Caps also help with that. That kaya ako na cap sa mga una kong videos. Also because mahaba yung hair ko nanti na tamad lang ako magayos. <laughs> oh, and uh, just for fun, you can also add uh, other you know different kinds of lights sa background mo. You can put Christmas lights, and, or you can put these. Fairy lights, which ooh, which is um, I don't honestly put. Wait. Yeah, hindi ko na ayusin <laughs> There's one more thing that I do sa videos ko, which is add LUTs. Now, like I said earlier, I am shooting with a flat color profile, and the reason is I add LUTs to my vlogs. It should look something like this. Better, diba? Now this is completely optional. You don't really have to do LUTs. Um, whatever comes off your camera is good. It's just that I choose to do this because, I mean, to me, honestly, it looks better. <laughs> to me, this is just my two lights that I use. Other vloggers have the ring lights, which is a good investment too. But to me, I personally don't like the ring light because, una, matakaw sa space. Pangalawa, matakaw sa space. Now let's go over to Pass Leo for my tumbling site. Pass Leo? Thanks, Future Leo. 
past layer here to show you something cool. So if you're familiar with this setup, this is where I do my tumbling videos. And actually I got comments about the very nice lighting here. It's a venue na to. And I'll show you why. So behind the camera is actually, wait, pakitao. So andito yung tripod, nandiyan yung camera obviously. So behind the camera, it's this big ass window and um, I usually shoot my tumbling videos at this time around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. What happens is that at the other side of the building, nandun yung sun, so it already gives off natural light. And then across the street, there is this big building which serves as my reflector so aside from having natural light I have a big ass reflector across the street which gives me a softer and more flattering light so yeah that's my natural lighting setup for this particular venue oh and let's not forget the get ng counting color grading and that's how it should look like back to you future Leo solid Thank you so much, Past Leo. So that is it for this video. If you like it, please click the thumbs up. Uh, comment if you have questions or suggestions. And please do consider subscribing. I have a goal that before mag end in 2020, umabot man lang ako sa 1,000 subscribers. So let's make it happen. So if this video helped you in a way or two, sana may incorporate your sa videos niyo and share it to your fellow vloggers. Baka makatulong din. Also, I'd like to say a big big thank you to everyone who supported me by buying my photo prints i sold it out within eight days and i'm so overwhelmed by those of you guys who bought i hope you guys find a good place in your homes for those photos i would very much appreciate them if you have them decorated around your house picture on your stories and then tag me also i will be selling my best sellers again so watch out for that follow my photography account on instagram that's not actually skywalker right here with all that said and done i will see you guys in the next video peace